Hi there, uh, my name is Nikita, I'm CMO of App in the Air. So, what is the App in the Air? Next slide. Oh, okay. So, this is an application for post booking travel experience. Basically, the person at flight and he receives information about flight delays, guest status changes, and also information about airport, airline, and what can you do inside it, and some travel story. Uh, currently, we have 1.7 million people with uh, 200k monthly active users, and they do 2.5 million sessions per month, with average session 45 minutes. So they spend a lot of time in our application. Current business model is the subscription based. They get uh, receive information about flight status, delay changes, and gate changes, etc. So to be up to date to their flight information. <coughs> and we start to think how to we can grow more than that in terms of current users, and we think. We go look forward to the to the travel market of advertising, and the current market uh, five billion and will grow by fifty percent to by 2019. And we started to think what's wrong with that with this market, and we realized that there's too many issues. With first one is the lack of targeting. It's very hard to find the right user very with their specific <coughs> information that you want to target on, and the lack of touch points. So the current companies they're hard to. Uh, catch the users, the past users, which should use their services, and also the current, because they uh, just put their service and go away with their tickets or uh, with, with their take, take away. Uh, so what we we came up with the idea to present to be a platform for the other companies. They they can create a widget, a piece of information that can be directly targeted to the specific person via our SDK. And the, this, the business model is a success piece from the uh, personalized offers. And why the company is willing and want to be with us? Because we have a so-called travel profile. We gather information about their behavior, what kind of airlines they prefer, whether Delta or, uh, or American Airlines, which hotel chains uh, to the business travelers or leisure travelers alone or with family. So that's their unique information that we only we have. Uh, there's uh, partners who believe in our platform. Um, they arise from the uh, uh, bookings to banks and jet, uh, uh, the business jet uh, services. So, the, as, as a summary, there's a seven billion market we have, which don't have, we have, uh, which has a lack of uh, touch points and targeting, and we gonna solve it. And we think that the uh, the personal, uh, the travel should be personal again. Right. Thank you. Sure. You so say you have unique information about right. the traveler. How is what you have different than all that's available for everybody else? Well, um, so we have information about preferences <coughs> about, so you travel from some specific airport, like from JFK to like to Miami. So you are at some specific airports. The Google and Facebook, the most biggest platform right now, don't have this information. Uh, and, and the companies, for example, there's lots of startups like the taxi sharing, so which are presented only in some airports, and we, they can set up their um, personalized offers only to the person who are departing or arriving from the particular airport. So this is the specific, specific unique offer to, to, the, to the person. So flight stats yes. kind of owns this market right now on the B2B. They're, they're probably the most. Yeah common one you see in there, how are you going to suddenly fight with them and, and Well, them actually, yeah, that's that's a good question, but actually we are partners with them, okay. and we going, uh, like, in parallel together. So you use their technology. So which is your technology versus their technology as well? Well, okay, are they, we get, we receive the flight information, uh, yes. and we sell it to, to the user. And, but we, we uh, focus on this travel profile, with the information, so we can use our user base okay. to get to create some kind of a platform, the app platform, but in, in terms of travel market related information and with their specific uh, settings, which can you. So you showed Expedia on the screen. Yeah. What's your relationship well, with Expedia? Uh, it's a uh, hotel um, offers to the to the users. Are you They're using Expedia's hotel network to do that, or are you actually providing targeted messages to Expedia users? Not we, we use their API to show our users uh, about hotels. availability of hotels because we know they we, they don't have right now a hotel and that's why we are presenting because he they have a flight and we know that he has to it. stay somewhere. I got it. Yeah, one point seven million users. Yeah, 
Uh, how long did it take to get to a million? Uh, to a million. Well, to a million, it took about um, three years. And what's the cost of the subscription? Uh, the, so basically, app is, uh, the app is free, and you can use it for free. The, there are different packs. Uh, it's, uh, well, I thought you said it was a subscription model. Mm -hmm. Right, but uh, it's subscription for uh, to receive notifications, but you can use it for free. Okay. The pack varies from five dollars to thirty dollars, and uh, one fourth of the users are using like a premium model. Yeah. The most premium model, and yeah, two point five percent using the paying users. So this is the proof that they like it. So this is the proof that the companies believe in our app platform. Okay. Thank you. All right. So the number one use case for your app today is just flight schedules? Right now, yeah. It? But we think how can we expand and use the information. And we see that it's very hard to find for a startups or a companies that are targeted and specific information for the users who are flying. So in terms of market, uh, travel market. Like there's a taxi in San Francisco. Uh, links, so they are uh, specific to some airports, only open there, and for <coughs> the uh, air graph, they are open only a few airports, and they can target directly to, to those persons. That's easy. And in terms of user acquisition, mm -hmm. like right. how are you marketing, and how are you getting users to download this app? Well, we, uh, firstly, we got very good app store optimization, so our, about 90% are organic traffic, we get a lot of uh, referrals. So about 80% uh, eight, eight are referrals, so people are inviting other people to receive uh, notifications and our referrals. And other is the, uh, is the Facebook app, and we have uh, probably uh, the cost profit is um, uh, point zero, uh, 0 0.9, so we're pretty close to uh, not to spend anything on the at, at market. So we have. We, firstly, we get uh, good um, numbers, and then we go to, to the market to uh, spend money on the ads. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.